and welcome back to our channel. Last year, I have promised one of you a video about one of the most popular condiments here in Germany, German mustard. And lucky you, you're not gonna get only one video, you're gonna get actually two videos about the German mustard. So in the first one, I will be concentrating on some facts, varieties, and what we eat a German mustard with. And as soon as you know all that, you're ready for the next video, which will be about cooking with a German mustard. I will be posting this video next week for you. So now, without further ado, let's just start. Mustard in Germany has a very long history because already the Romans brought the small seeds to Europe. At this time, mustard wasn't used only as a food condiment, but also medicine. In 795, Charles the Great even officially ordered the cultivation of mustard in Germany. And then, not even a thousand years later, the first mustard factory was founded in Düsseldorf. And then, over 100 years later, the sweet mustard was created in Munich. Nowadays, mustard is one of the most popular condiments, and in 2020, the mustard consumption per head was 805 grams. There are few ways to produce this wonderful condiment. Dijon, English one, and the German one. So in the German process, the mustard is firstly cleaned from the foreign bodies. Then the clean seeds are coarsely crushed in roller mill. And then the mustard seeds are mixed with water, vinegar or lemon or both, as well as salt and other spices. This process is called maceration. And then after two to six hours, the mixture is pressed through another mill. If the mixture got warm while mixing, then it has to cool and then rest for around two to even ten days. And then finally it's filled into tubes or jars. Bear in mind that the process that I have just showed you is the most simple one. I am sure that some companies even have more steps to create their mustard. In Germany, we mostly use three different varieties of mustard. Standard one would be a middle shaft, so medium spicy. Then we've got spicy or hot one. And then we've got a sweet one. The most popular is for sure the medium hot mustard, which is made from white and brown mustard seed. And a part of those, it also consists in a basic recipe, water, vinegar and salt. So talking about the medium spicy mustard, for sure the most popular one in the Western Germany is the Tommy one and in the Eastern Bautzener Zinf. Some also like the medium one from Kühne. Hot and spicy mustard is less popular and this one is made from brown mustard seeds. The basic recipe also contains water, vinegar and salt and this one has cancer inhibiting effect. So at the same time you can do something for your health and cry because the mustard is so spicy. Löwenzenf is for sure the most popular spicy or extra spicy mustard in Germany. This one is actually made differently, like the normal German mustard. The process of making it is called Dijon. And also here I will link this particular product for you. But Tommy also does one of that kind. In Bavaria, they love their sweet mustard, because actually here the sweet mustard was created in 18. 54 by Johann Konrad Dievelei. Sweet mustard is made from white and brown mustard seeds, as well as water, vinegar, salt and brown sugar. There are probably also other spices that they use, but those are obviously a secret. So here we go, here is the sweet mustard from Dievelei, which is the company that founded actually the sweet mustard here in Germany. And Händelmeier would be still the most popular one. I will link those products in the description box down below for you. We do also have other mustards here in Germany, for example, the American one, which I've heard that is less spicy than ours. 
all possible varieties of Dijon mustard. There you go, I didn't even know that they've got so many different varieties. If you would like to make your own mustard, you can find in the German supermarkets the white seeds. I guess the brown and the black ones you're gonna find in the speciality shops or just online. But I have also found a mustard powder from Coleman's. So I guess that would be the one to make English mustard, which is very spicy. Now I'm gonna show you how we actually eat German mustard in Germany. German mustard would be typically served with a German Brotzeit, which are meat and cheese platters. On the screen right now you can see the Bavarian Brotzeit that consists of many different Bavarian specialities and mustard. You can also see mustard in Franconian Vespe, Schwarzwälder Vespe and all types of Brotzeit that you can find in wine regions. If you wonder what is all the food that I am showing you right now, I filmed a video about the German Brotzeit. I will link it in the description box down below for you. A part of cold cuts, the German mustard is also eaten with a warm dishes. On the screen right now you can see sweet mustard with Leberkäse and fried egg. Nürnberger, so-called Drei in Wegla, are also served with a mustard. Not only the bratwurst, but also parboiled sausages like Bockwurst, Gelbwurst or Krakauer also traditionally have mustard on the side. Schweinebraten, served as a street food in a bread roll, contains some mustard and fried onions. Mustard also cannot be missed at any grill party. We also love eating it with a German meatballs and Frankfurter Rippchen, which is pork loin rib that is cured and cooked in sauerkraut, delicious. Frankfurt Schäufelchen, which is also served with sauerkraut and even Schweinsachse, which in Bavaria is apparently also eaten with a sweet mustard. Mustard is also used in a salad dressings as well as marinades for meat and cooking in general. But more about it, I'm gonna tell you in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. I wonder if you do also like mustard like we do or you prefer any other condiment. How do you eat your mustard actually? Please let me know the answers to those questions in the comments down below. So next week, as I mentioned in the intro, I will show you all traditional German dishes that I could think of that has a mustard as an ingredient. I really hope that you like this video and that you're gonna be here next week for the second part. I wish you all a lovely week, stay safe and healthy and I see you very soon. <laughs> Bye!